uh, one of the things we're big on is supporting uh, Christian businesses, uh, local businesses, and uh, you come across all types of businesses, you know what I mean? Uh, you got, you know, home improvement, health and wellness. Well, if I want to make sure everyone had a happy Thanksgiving, too. Hope you had a thank happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you have the cameras on there, you know. Can you see the whole room? I'm looking at my, oh. you see my big head? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're filming, so if you're trying to do 90 things at the same time, you know. Uh, so anyway, health and wellness, you got all different types of businesses, all different types of uh, organizations and things like that. I've never come across someone who had their own water company. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who, who, and this, uh, it's amazing. Chris Harrison is here with us, and he has a alkaline water company, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Now, the reason why I thought this was important to be on is because the amount of stuff that's going on with health, with the disease and things like that, uh, everyone knows that they're supposed to drink water, but they don't know what's in the water. They don't know what's going, you know, not every company is doing right by the water. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is nothing to make you afraid, no. but this is something to inform you and educate you um, about what's going on in the environment. So Chris is going to share with us about his organization and, and why he got into this business. But this is Chris Harrison. Come on, brother. Yeah, got you. Uh, thanks yeah. for having me you on, make sure Chris. You got to come up to the mic. I got you. Thanks for having me on. Uh, this is Chris, the Alkaline Man Family Springs. And, uh, yeah, you know, basically to tell you the importance, all water is not the same. It's not created equal. Um, there's a difference. And uh, basically we are a natural artesian alkaline water company. Uh, we get our water directly from the source, Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. And uh, when we go pick it up and we deliver it, deliver it fresh to the homes uh, from the mountains to your mouth, mountain spring water. And, and that's important. Why is that important? Uh, well, it's important to be connected to the source because the source gives you the information for life. So anytime you're disconnected from the source, you know, you have a chance of interference to happen. Which is exactly what happens. Right. And we have a situation in Michigan where the water is being tampered with. Uh, and man, man does not necessarily trust nature, even though... Nature's been doing nature for a very long time. Right, right. <laughs> you know, uh, in our, if we live to be a hundred, you know, it's, it's not even a decimal point on the scale of how nature kind of knows what he's doing. God, God did a good job. Uh, I don't think God's trying to hurt us at all. I don't know. What, why don't we trust nature? What, why, what is it? Well, you know what? Man always wants to uh, intervene because they feel like uh, the life cycle has to go through them. At some point, and that's and that's basically what our water system is. And in, in the day, is intervening with what Mother Nature does naturally through the filtration center. Yeah, you know, we feel like we have to go ahead and intervene and put the pipes and stuff in, and you know. <laughs> and now, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, like seventy percent of the Earth is water. Only three percent of it is drinkable water. Right. And so, once we tamper with our water system, we've now polluted. The only 3% of the water that we got. And what's funny, because, you know, it's all connected, you know. And, you know, they're talking about there's there's spots and, and so forth in the earth where that fresh water is at that if that was ever to become contaminated, it can really pollute everything. everything. Yeah. You know, because it's all one big cycle. That's yeah. terrifying. Yeah, it that, is terrifying. Oh, it's just terrifying that the amount of people they don't know. So how do we know uh, what water we can trust? Well... That's part of why I do what I do, because um, water uh, affects our DNA, um, because it's in the food that we eat, and it's, that's basically how God sends messages to us. I mean, you know, we talk about Genesis 1, 2, you <laughs> right, know, right. you know, God moved across the face of the water, so the information is in the water. So to understand what water to trust, you want to do something um, that's originally sourced from the earth. Right. You know what I mean? I, and, and I understand that there's a lot of machines and so forth that produce these things, um, but we're still now we're going back to the GMO thing, and we're talking about which man intervening. Yeah, which yeah. has been proven that it's making people sick, you know, that we're, it's altering 
our humanity. It's altering us as beings. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, what got you into this, man? Uh, knowing that there's a disparity um, between urban America and suburban America where the, the all, not all water is distributed. Um, equally. So, you know, you have your uh, higher echelons, the Fijis, the Evians, and those types of brands of water distributed into um, uh, urban, I mean, uh, suburban communities. But then when you go into the lower economic areas, then you don't get that same quality. You get a case of water for three bucks. You know what I mean? So then it made me start to think like, well, why can you sell this water and why is this priced at this one and this is priced over here? And then that started having me think, okay, now you have a, a group of people that's acting a certain type of way in this environment, and, and it just you really said, started opening me you up said to something open. in the water. Then you researched yes. it and found out. Right, that there is something, something in, in the, the water. water. <laughs> right, it's something in the water. It's made up into our DNA. So we, you know, we, we are what we eat, but even further, we are what we drink because what we eat is consumed by, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's well, backed they, about they water. They found that uh, even your Fijis and then those top well, that, that a lot of it's still been tampered with, and a lot of things, a lot of fluoride and stuff like that. Right. And uh, it's funny because I'll try to sometimes I'll try to get the kids to drink tap water, and they'll be like, "No, it tastes like dirt, or it, <laughs> it tastes like this," and, <laughs> and it's kind of funny, right. you know, because because it's so it's not like it's a big secret. Then when you have the situation that happened in Michigan, mm -hmm. that you know, it's like, and I know that the owner of Nestle made a comment about privatizing water. And owning water. And, Did you and, hear about that? No. So that's that's the part where I'm at right now, and it frightens me because they literally have the power to control our future and our, our wealth. So like that's actually why I'm uh, I'm glad that I'm able to be on your show today because I'm doing a campaign where um, hydration is health, water is wealth, because. It, understanding that is a re reusable resource that we're going to forever need, and once you start to do that, the next thing is oxygen. <laughs> you, you I mean, it right. sounds funny, but yeah. I get it. You know, so like these are the things that I feel like if we don't understand that now, we're going to be so far behind and in uh, out of control of everything because we have to be tapped into that source as a people and have some type of control. If you start to let them have that control over that, we're going to lose all types of rights. Oh, yeah, because, I mean, th that's the thing is that uh, when I think about what greedy people have done to the country already, you know, uh, the you know the pharmaceuticals having the ability to cure certain diseases, but won't do it right. because, you know, they, they want to make money off people or just letting people, you know, or charging outrageous prices and things like that. We don't want... Uh, the, the greedy people to be able to block, you know, humanity out of a right, which yeah. is water. And, and that's what, it's exactly what they, I mean. They already have done it in a sense. And, 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 and right, things. right. So, you know, that those are the things that I feel like you know we we're chasing real estate more so because it's land and we can really kind of visibly see that. But now. Water is the one thing that's really missing that people are not really looking. Now they're starting to become a water war out right, here right, because right. now you can see everybody yeah, starting so to battle. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You see, you, you know. see, like you said, uh, Avion, uh, mm -hmm. it, Boss Water, Boss, right. it's Boss. You know, yeah. and really, you're buying the container. You're not even really buying the water. No, it takes more water to make the container <laughs> yeah, than like the water is inside yeah. it. Right. That's where all the money's mm -hmm. going. So let's see. So we got some comments. Okay. Oh, hey, Dad, my dad's watching. We're, yeah. He's over on Facebook Live as well. If you want to see it on the Coming Soon Jesus T-shirts, you can see it on uh, Coming Soon Jesus T-shirts or go to my page, Duke White Jr., and see it there as well. Right, uh, right. And w one of the things that, that I think is so important, now, anyone that's in health and nutrition will tell you that you're supposed to drink water. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. uh, and But no one, I think there's a deeper revelation of what type of, of water now what's so special about alkaline water well alkaline what we have to our body we're naturally cells so um the best way i'll actually put it is uh you understand a fish tank um when it gets very green and yucky right it has that um bacteria and stuff that starts to grow and there's less oxygen in it the water becomes very acidic because the fish pisses eats and poops and all that right. all in that same water so you have to change that so the way you change that is by adding the raising the pH by adding alkalinity. Alkalinity is a base, right? So our body as a cells, we are cells, and our body eats everything that we eat, and we are what we eat. So it has to be flushed out. 
and without putting fresh water in and having minerals in those things inside that water, our bodies are not able to buffer as quickly and as fast, which causes bacteria and germs and viruses to actually breed into our body. See, our body has electrical charges in it, and the thing that electrical currencies move through is yeah, water. water yeah. Right, so then now you're talking about minerals and salts, alkaline salts. That's connectivity. That's connectivity. That's what your brain operates off of. So when they're, talking, they're selling you electrolytes, it's salts that your body needs to react and to connect. That's what makes you function. It helps you think better. It, it helps you clarity. think better, right. You can reason, you can, yeah. Yeah. So. And, and since, uh, <laughs> okay, you just, you just kicked some real <laughs> scientific knowledge. And, you know, and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on, because this is a you know Christian radio show, and we speak a lot of the spirit and things like that, but there's a lot of spiritual principles that oh. God gave us Woo. in science. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot of spiritual principles that God gave us in science, and sometimes we think, oh, I'll just pray for this. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. well, well, yeah, but also get the, the information, you know, uh, because, again, God is the one that created these things for us, and he knows how to take care of us the best. Um, when we start getting into, I do understand man's need to assist and flow and things like that, uh, especially since we've populated so much. Uh, it's like, how do we get these resources to the population? That's where man comes in. Because God did say we have dominion over the earth. Uh, but, and, but I believe dominion makes things better, not contaminates. Right. And, and you see what I mean? So when I look at the failure in a lot of these companies, these water companies and things like that, that aren't doing things the right way, what, I, what I'm seeing is they, they didn't have a proper, uh, like, a, a, an infrastructure. It was almost like, let's get the bare minimum done mm -hmm. instead of saying, hey, let's make sure we protect the quality mm -hmm. of the water to get it. So, so, so and to, to get it to the population. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where these mishaps, like what's going on in Michigan and things like that happen right. and things like, you know. So what what is is your opinion on how to get people how do we get people more informed about healthy water well what we're doing now is uh we have to be more dialed into the source um that's what i'm doing with family springs so like it, we're more than just a bottled water company we want to make sure that the people are informed we want to make sure that it's informed at a um at a kid's level you know what I mean? To make sure that the information is relatable because we'll go through chemistry class and all those different things. And those same principles that are taught there, they're not relatable to how it affects us, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, it doesn't draw a real connection. And then, we, like, everything that you said, like, you can't have a spiritual experience being dehydrated. You know what I mean? So we're so far disconnected. And then... Not to mention the whole infrastructure of our society is built and based off of water and the flow of it. I think that's just the truth. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, everything <laughs> that you're saying. Just, so when you say it like that, it's like, like our society is not built off water. But yes, it is. It is. It, the it, banking it, system, the all that. It's yeah. just that we've moved so much other stuff on top of that basic principle that we don't, you know, like out of sight, out of mind. Right. Uh, I was just talking to a friend yesterday and we were laughing saying, that people can go days without drinking water because there's so much other things to drink. That didn't used to be the case. Right. You know what I mean? That didn't used to be the case. And now, uh, like, there shouldn't be, your body will never be thirsty for a Sprite or Coca-Cola. I'm a fat guy, so I know. You're, you know, like, I can tell when I need some, some water, and instead of drinking water, I'll throw down something else, you know, uh, like uh -huh. a, a soda or, you know, uh you know, juice, or and then you look and it says artificial flavoring. Right. And, you know what I mean? And your body's like, I'm. And what's crazy is my friend responds, "I know it's crazy, man. Notice we would never put the stuff we put in our bodies in our cars. Isn't that wild? Yeah. We'll make sure our cars have the right thing, but won't make sure our bodies have the right thing." And yeah, it's, it's major. I mean, but that's the power of marketing, right? And, you know, because <laughs> you yeah, it, that's that one thing where you you can look at athletes and you say, how many athletes or entertainers you see endorse water? Your mom said nobody can hear you. Oh, no one can hear us. Oh no, why is that happening? It might be just on that. Oh. I don't know. Is it just, it's just on the on this part that no one can hear on this? Where she's saying she says what's about the water? Oh, see that they can hear us. Yeah, maybe it's just oh. her phone that no one can hear on because. You can hear in there. Hey, Hope, go cut that radio on in there. Make sure everybody can hear. Yeah, but uh, you know, she said nobody can hear. Just 
he just answers, he says, uh, what store-bought water is good for you? What store-bought Maybe water? it's on an app. I don't know. What store bought water is good for you? He's gonna tell you family springs. Yeah, uh, yeah, family uh, springs uh, yeah. water. Yep. Family springs water. And, and the best way to get a hold of it is going through our small businesses because yeah. that's what we do. Go ahead and get out. You put out your information. Okay. okay yeah. We go. Well, you can get a hold of us familysprings.com. Um, yeah. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, and then we also have on there find the spring. So we actually have um, locations throughout the Hampton Roads area. And also in the D.C. area where you can actually get our water from because we want to make sure that our water is. And this is why I was talking about the infrastructure. So um, we have to make sure that that source is going back into our communities that are deprived of that. You know, and those are the things that um, it translate because we're basically a microcosm of society. Right. So that's how that's the way our body is set up. So once those things start to become dehydrated, you know, you start to see the effects of those in the environment. So, yeah, you have to. Uh, Go you know to our current to locations me, for I'm that. gonna be honest with you. I find it funny that with doctors, without even talking to you, <laughs> you go into the doctor's office without even talking to you. The first thing they do is IV you. They already know you're dehydrated. Yeah. Without even yeah. they know, most Americans do not drink the proper amount of water. Right. They already know that we don't take it seriously, guys. I gotta put it out there, and I am gonna put it out there. This is a life and death situation. Facts. It affects our our entire journey. I can't explain this, uh, but I'm going to tell you the truth. When the days that I will chug, because I'm on my weight loss journey and it's a struggle, I go back and forth with the weight. When I chug a jug of water or something like that, my back feels better, my mm -hmm. knees feel better, and I'm like, nah. Right, right. You know what right. I mean? And yeah. there is an addiction involved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The, the sugar that you get from the sodas and things like that. What do you got? Well, I was actually looking at this today that, um, I, you know, God, of course, created the fruits and vegetables. And even in just natural stuff, just strawberries is 92% water. Mm -hmm. So is watermelon. Um, cucumbers, 96% water. Celery is 95%. Just think um, oranges are 87%. Plums are 85%. Mm -hmm. Sweet peppers are 92%. Spinach is 92% of water. Like, it's made up of that much water. <laughs> and then when you don't eat those fruits and vegetables, that's why that yeah. alkaline and uh, those yeah. diets and so forth, those why, that's so, why they work. Realistically, we've got we've got to kind of detox a little bit, you know. Like like what, what's well, here's what frightens me, man, is I've seen what I call the church folk diet. Mm -hmm. I have been I am a part of the church folk diet. Christians love to get around and eat. <laughs> we love to sit around and eat. Break bread. And, Break, break bread, <laughs> break, break bread. That's too much bread, you know. Uh, and if, the, if you think about the food that we bring, we bring our our family's food to the table when we come to collectively as a church. Right. Um, and a lot of times, it, it's good. It tastes good, and things like that. And it's really, it's really tasty. But most of it's not health driven. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. You know, I, I I tell this joke all the time, and I say, when I die, I'm gonna make sure it's nothing with vegetables there. Watch nobody show up at my <laughs> funeral. But even when there is, like people say, oh, well, we got some greens there, but they were cooked in like fat back and bacon and um, grease and. <laughs> <laughs> my my my, I started salivating as soon as you said it, but but it's like, well, then die. You know what I mean? Because because now I, I want to say it to you like this, and this is very graphic the way I'm painting, but it's like. If someone killed a family member of yours, you wouldn't invite that person to the funeral. But when it comes to food, we'll invite Man, that's nice. the very I love that. we'll invite the very mm -hmm. food that killed our loved ones to their funeral. I like that. That's a good Isn't that crazy? That, that's crazy. No. Well, then, you, our, our our mother, our father, our sister, our brother died from high cholesterol or diabetes or something like that, mm. and we invite the murderer to the funeral. And we enjoy it, and, and we don't realize when we're eating, we're really going, who's next? Well, and then part of that because we grow up with it, so that's why I like to be into the side of school. And we defend school. it. And we defend it because we have no other information about that, that right. part. You know what I mean? So, like, now you can start to see the holistic side of things that's starting to come out, and, and people are starting to become aware of it, but it has to be taught at, at, at an elementary level. You know what I mean? And that's where we have to start affecting the kids first because a lot of us grow up with these 
theories and the ideologies early I mean, you know, early on and then once we get thirty, forty years old and we've We're being already yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So and it's not just health on the inside, it really somebody that doesn't drink water, their skin gets all cracked and mm -hmm. you get wrinkles at an early age and uh, right. if you, you get the person you're hearing talk of is Crystal Hollowell. Now this is not a joke. She did not allow her children to drink sodas. I, said I don't I, do it in months, neither. See, I planned on it, but I was surrounded by soda drinkers, and then I just broke, honestly. And then I broke and gave in, <laughs> unfortunately. Well, I didn't buy them in the house. It was like a special occasion if we went out or something, but I never, went, like, ever went to the grocery store and bought, like, a two-liter of drink. Like, never. Like, mm -hmm. not in my house. Like, I just didn't do it. You know, and, and we, uh, we got to start looking at they it. They got as enough of that in the world. We've got to look at it like right. this stuff is like alcohol for children. Mm -hmm. Because we like the ADHD, all of this other stuff. Our parents will tell you with before there was a Fiji bottle of water, before there was a, you know, a boss and all this other stuff. Our family will tell you ADHD did not exist. Oh. No. You know, and I started thinking, everyone will tell you how hard it is to go to school hungry, but think about how hard it is to go to school dehydrated and not even know you're dehydrated. Matter of fact, it, it was even funny because, you know, anytime you got a scrape or a cut or something, drink some water, you'll be all right. You can know, you, you can bump your head. Can you look up how water affects the brain? I'm sure you know. How, how does water affect the brain? Do you well, know? yeah, well, water... Um, it's a management system. So basically, the brain has first dibs on water rights. So anytime there's um, something starts to affect the body, you this have to understand amazing. chronic pain. Chronic pain comes from dehydration. So that is the signal that signals the brain because there's something wrong with that, that part of the body. And it's telling the brain, hey, look, there's something going. It's a signal that fires there because the brain has first rights to it. It's water distribution, and the job is to preserve water. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so your brain I... is 85% water. Oh, dude. And it's all minerals. That's what the connectivity, your synapse, all those things, the synapse has to connect through alkaline salts, minerals. And, and so if, if we're not drinking enough water, right. not only are we dehydrated, but now... That's where the mental health is coming in. Now play. we're yeah. affected mentally. Yeah, uh, Listen, mentally guys, and physically. We're talking about this. I, mm -hmm. I will be as bold to say as what if water is the key, like reverses depression. The first thing it said is your brain, of course, is 75% water. When your brain is functioning on full reserve of water, you will be able to think faster, be more focused. And experience greater clarity and creativity. Water is also essential for delivering nutrients to the brain and removing toxins. Oh. So, so somebody that doesn't drink water, like they're not living up to their full potential. Can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. literally impossible. Guys, these these are manageable things that we can do to make our lives better. And, you know, when people talk about frustration, one let's be real. One thing, this generation is on edge. All right, it's mm -hmm. like uh, there there's a lot of people that are here on edge. There are a lot of people that are flipping out on each other. And when you look at the diet and all this other stuff, this stuff helps our temperament. Because mm -hmm. when you deal with people, I don't know if you've ever dealt with a person out there before, people. But dealing with people, you need patience. Yeah. And if our health is not right, then we can't think straight, which is going to cause us to go crazy and snap on people. Which builds up stress, and stress causes an acid build And up. stress is the number one killer of all mankind. And now if you're not dehydrated, see how so it, all it, like, it all ties in. It all ties in. So if you're dehydrated, you can't handle any more stress. You're already dehydrated. Right. Once you're dehydrated, you're not going to process any information right. I feel, is that what you're telling me right now? Everything is, when I say it's all connected, information comes in through your eyes, right? Your, your eyes are, is water. So we talk about light is information. So now when that light hits your eyes, well, it does two things. It either reflects or refracts, right? Right. right? So when you look at somebody's pupils, you can see your reflection, right? Right. But as that light goes into, it refracts, right? Right. It refracts, so it right? So it, it breaks down. down the information, right? So now... Even when I look into your eyes, I'm still not able to see your point of view, right? Because 
you, the you, information you, is that, and if you're you dehydrated, like, like right? You put light in the mirror, it breaks it down and reflects. Right. So exactly. water, water does that to us. So if you're dehydrated, you're not even getting the proper information. Jeez. Yeah, and it, now a lot of those people will be like, "Well, water's in it. The water's in the soda." <laughs> <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. guys, we're talking about that's distorted water. You know, that's distorted. Right. That's, there's something else in the water, so that that means that it's not actual water. Water, we're talking about water in its purest form, mm -hmm. is what makes the difference. Right. Not water with a bunch of sugar in it. Right. Because now your brain's getting the extra stuff that it doesn't need. Dr. Batmakovich uh, wrote a book. Um, was is uh, you're not sick, you're just thirsty. Oh. And, and uh, it was a uh, he's an Iranian prisoner, and he cured over three thousand people with just water while he was in jail, locked up. Just giving them water. Just giving them water. Because let's let's look at the process of somebody who's thirsting for water in the desert. They will have all the attributes of someone who is diseased and sick. Right. The chapped lips, the, the skin starts to crack, the, the sluggishness, the stomach aches, the cramps. All of that stuff comes when you're dehydrated. And, and, and we, we confuse thirst with dehydration. It's two different the things. It is two different things because hydration has to, the water has to get inside the cells. Thirst is just basically outside the cells and, that, and you'll pee that out real quickly and, and, and so forth. But... The, if the cells aren't hydrated, then you, you're still losing because that, it has to go inside the cells. Now, ladies, listen. This has everything to do with your aging process. Everybody ain't getting the tight lips, lipo, and all these yeah. different types of things. Yeah, you know. It, and this is why I said it, it's relatable to the environment in the sense of if you go into an inner city area and you see the the cracked streets, the potholes, the abandoned buildings. Just imagine how that looks when your veins don't have water rushing through them and able to transmit. It dries up, right? Now you have cracked skin and, and, and wrinkles and all that side of it. Right. That, yeah, I mean, think about the most, the worst area you can think about, and there's sections in your body that look like that mm -hmm. because it's not getting hydrated properly. So listen to what he just said. He just said that. Thirst is one thing, hydration is another. Getting high, you have to make sure that your cells. Have you ever valued yourself on a cellular level? Uh. Or do have you only valued yourself? I'm asking you people a question. Think about this. Have you valued yourself on a cellular level? Have you only valued yourself on an emotional level, a financial level, and, the, and how you appear to others' level? Mm -hmm. If you truly take time to value yourself on a cellular level, this will change your perspective of what's possible for you. It, it, it'll automatically put you... I'm so tired of people saying things like, uh, the rich do this and the rich people do that. It's like, no, informed people. There's, there's information. You, you want to know why the rich people do things differently? Because they find out about stuff. And they know it. So... This is why it's a harder for fight for us down here because not only do the rich people have they have the water and the information, so they're I, able to they're able to lock us up and we're in a stressed you know, you know, know, society know and dehydrated. Lock, I don't know if they lock us out. Mm -hmm. I think here's what happens: they just keep moving so far but, forward and, they don't look oh, back. Okay, yeah. And, and, and the reason and the reason why I know is because America is a very tricky place. Uh -huh. This is what I believe about America. They make the event, it's, I, I call it the nation of if the shoe fits. They let you decide who you're going to be, what's informed. I think it went from completely uh, an oppressive place to be if you were not a you know, white male. It was a completely oppressive place to be for women, for minorities, and things like that. But then once uh, the revelation that we needed each other came out, it became about who's ever going to be the most informed. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like, like, if you say if you can't get the people to in, in one community to receive your message, mm -hmm. but there's a hungry group of people over here, you got to go where you're celebrated. Right. You got to go. You see what I'm saying? So if there's somebody, if you meet an investor to say, I believe in you, I'm dropping 20 million on you. You see what I mean? So, and, and, and that's particularly why I try to stay inside my area because 
you know, we, we go out, and that's basically what selling out is. Right. You know what I mean, you sell outside of your community, and then you end up losing the affluence. The community. Yeah, the community, right? Because the support has to come from within. And we're we're distracted from the outside influences, and we end up chasing that, and then your obligation and responsibility I can tell you becomes why that to happens, that. And this is very important because I, I I totally believe in you. And here's this is the situation. I think that being that warrior, standing for your community, is uh, it, people need a real hero. You know what I mean? Uh, Captain America and mm-hmm. uh, the Avengers. That's all fine and dandy, but. We need a hero. We need real heroes in our communities. Oh, yeah. You know, willing to bring information like this. Right. And be mindful. What, what happens to most heroes? Yeah. <laughs> they they, 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 they get attacked by uh, their own people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So a lot of people say, man, this don't matter. Man, this don't matter. You know, and I just want to encourage you, no matter what. You say the same thing with Jesus, right? You say yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah, with yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Attack. Same thing with Jesus. Mm-hmm. Man, I just want to encourage you. To do what you do no matter what. Because usually the hardest people that it is to reach is the people you're trying to reach. Right. You know what I mean? The people you're trying to reach. And my son was uh, looking through the scriptures and he was a little confused. He saw a Bible verse where God is talking about his own people. And he says, my people are hard-headed. You know, they're hard-hearted. They don't listen. They don't know. And he was like, but they'll know that a prophet was amongst them. And so with the information you're doing, man... Uh, I say keep going, man. Use social media. Do what you do. Uh, man, I'm going to push you. I want to promote you and tell people about, you know, your company. And just Thanks. talk about the the information. Because uh, I see th- so it can change. This can revolutionize even the, the, the poorest of areas. Because uh, here's the thing. Poverty can't stop healthy thinkers. Absolutely can't. Poverty Absolutely cannot, can. it may stop you from being fashionable to a certain degree. It may stop you from not being able to waste your money, mm-hmm. but poverty cannot stop you from healthy thinking. No. As long as you make your, if nothing, if you, because back to being frustrated, I understand a child that can't learn because their stomach is growling. I get it. And we have addressed that in America about uh, hunger in America, but I am 40 years old and I do not remember ever having this con- conversation about hydration and how that can affect your ability to think. Right. It's, it's never been in the marketing plan. And that's my thing. It's like when you're locked out of the information, you can solicit everything else inside that marketing budget and that marketing plan. Cokes, Pepsis, vacations, you know, all these different types of things, shoes to wear, clothes. But how many times do you see a water company promoted about hydration and getting that NFL spotlight, you know, at at times? Yeah, one thing I think is wrong, like, in the school system is a lot of teachers even or schools have um, a rule that kids can't have water in the classroom. Mm. Now, I understand anything sugary, anything that gets bugs, any, I completely understand that, but every kid should be allowed to have a some type of bottle of water, as long as it has a top on it, um, at their um, you know exposure every single day. They, sh- they should not go all day long with only being able to drink water at lunch. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Sense. And I know my daughter, they, they are allowing that with the water bottles. Some kids yeah, are, and they start and they start and yeah, not you're all right though. Yeah. Got on mm-hmm. to that yet. That, mm-hmm. And that's a bandwagon that all schools need to get onto because um, a lot of schools are still not allowing water in the classroom and I think that's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they'll say, well, you can ask to go to drink of water, but we all know that yeah. not all teachers are going to let you do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, that's not going to happen, and I, that interrupts the class. And I think there's two parts to that, because then it's like everybody's going to be getting up yeah, and go to the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, yeah. So if every and then it's just like to uh, have a bottle of water, as long as it has a top on it, and they're responsible with it, then, you know, they should have that all day long. They should be able to carry water around it, whether it's in a thermos, you know, depending on their age, or mm-hmm. just a bottle, like... I think that should that's something I think should change. And some schools are, and that's I think that's great. But mm. not all of them are. Right. All right well, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Thank you, brother, for coming on. Uh, we really appreciate it. You're actually going to see more of Chris Harrison. We're going to be doing a story on him on Real Life with Duke White, talking about how he got into the business, how he started this, and uh, to just get on a, a deeper, intimate level. I just wanted to have him come on the show 
do an introduction, put out some basic information. You guys now know how profound this subject really is. Mm. Uh, and when we do this production, it's going to be really cool because we're going to show the, how the water goes through the body. We're going to get footage of all of that. It's going to be a really cool production that we do. Uh, and, you know, just talking about the importance of water and... It's going to feature Family Springs. So we want you guys to check it out. We'll let you know as soon as the production's done. Uh, we got to get to work on it. But uh, again, let's put out your website again. FamilySprings.com. Uh, please make sure you go through there. We have special plans, referral packages. Like I said, we're all about recycling right? and referrals and reusing, you know what I mean, the information of water because it's going to be continuously that something that we're going to forever have to purchase guys please listen this is not a joke man i don't even want to stop the segment honestly I, like, like please consider what i said about valuing yourself on a cellular level my kids are here right now and i'm telling y'all you gotta value yourself on a cellular level uh we just found out today i, I wish i had known this but there is i didn't i'm not gonna sit here and act like i i knew this there's a difference between thirst and dehydration that is not okay. I understand that if your cells are dehydrated, not only are you aging, but it is going to be a long, painful process. Death. It's a long death. I was going to say process. Death. He's like, no, dude, this is death. This is, death. This is a long... It's imminent. <laughs> this is a guarantee. If you're not putting the right water and the right amount of water in your body, you are killing yourself. Is that clear? Is that, that's, that's a fact. Is it, this is not a game. We're talking about the the minerals that, that give you the ability to process, to think properly. This is not a game, guys. This is not a joke. Your life is on the line. Uh, and let's do the website again. FamilySprings.com. Check us out. Um, please make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Family Springs. Now, now, real quick, is there anything people should know? Is it going to taste different? Is there any fluoride? What, like, what... what right. Yeah. So there's different types because fluoride is of the earth, and what happens is fluoride on that periodic table uh, of elements is so close um, to attaching. Yeah, it. right. So um, there's fluorine in water, and just because it's a natural element, but we don't want to make sure that we get uh, too much of it, or um, you know, it, it attaches to certain other things that makes it something else because it's all chemically. And that's what right. these uh, the 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 mainstream companies have been doing. Right, they've been they, finding different ways because they the only way it is better. right, and then they want to find out how to get rid of it because it becomes a byproduct, you know, right. of other things that they actually well, they make with it. Like helps your teeth. If you drink water, with water. and and now I'm I'm gonna tell you I get at my uh, every time they they try to give my daughter that every time and I shut it down because they can't even answer the question. Anytime you try to give my fluoride is in everything that you eat and drink because it's in it's in the earth, mm -hmm. but yet you're gonna say the child is fluoride. I used to be a dental tech too, so and you're gonna say that my child is fluoride deficient. How is she fluoride deficient and how do you measure a fluoride deficiency child if fluoride is in everything? It's in your shower. <laughs> it's in the food that you eat because water travels through everything. It's in the water that you drink. So, hey, so <laughs> yes, he's like, stop lying. So I'm just saying, like, how can you, say, you know, why does it need to be on the teeth? You eat, drink, all that stuff, it, it goes through. So, I mean, somebody has to explain that to me. At least, right. But they weren't able to do that. You know, and, 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 and that's the thing is that I think that we have to learn how to get information ourselves. Because here's, here's what I know what people will do. People who are willing to be informed, once they can talk over you because you're not willing to be informed, they can add, They can find a little bit of truth and add stuff to you, right. to it and tell you something completely ridiculous with a straight face. And because they were willing to do a little bit more than you, they now can hold your entire life hostage. And we, and we, we, we give it to the, you know what I mean, because doctors do go through an extensive training, right? But, you know, the, the introductory part of you know, a doctor's course is uh, cellular biology. And that's in the early part right. before they actually get into their uh, uh, their concentration, right? So at some point, they deter and, I mean, they kind of <laughs> go away. The, yeah, they kind of yeah. go away from the source, which is everything is on a cellular Even when level. when you think about medication causing dry mouth and dehydration, right. that's actually a form of dehydration, dehydration. in itself. Everything, when I was talking about chronic pain, it all stimulates from dehydration me being a big fat guy 
I'm telling you, I feel the difference when I drink water. You know, when I drink water, I have the energy, and I sometimes I forget that I'm a big fat guy. You know what I mean? Like, seriously, like I forget because I have the energy. My knees don't hurt. My back doesn't hurt. I can't I can't sit here and lie and, and tell you that, you know, I, I do know that here's what this is my belief. This is my little philosophy. Here's what happens. Anything that's pure, good, and natural mm-hmm. does not have exaggeration in it. Like an apple has the right amount of sugar in it. Right. You know, so there's no exaggeration. Things that are man-made that that they're trying to make uh. you want their product, exaggeration is put in there, and it makes you go, "Wow!" But they had to put more sugar, more salt, more. You know I, I, mean? I definitely want it because that is so such a great point. Because I've been doing this for three years, and the fact of the matter is, everybody wants to know what my pH is. pH wasn't a big thing. Fiji is seven point seven. I was seven point eight, right? Wasn't a big thing until now, you know, other brands of water start to come out and it's basically the super size. What's the 9.5? Where is this? What pH is this? Listen, your pancreas operates at about at pH of 8. There's nothing in your body that is a 9 or 10, <laughs> all right? And your pancreas has one of the biggest roles and responsibility because it has to. Now, it has to um, uh, bring that chum and all the processed food into your intestines, otherwise that acid will burn a hole through your intestines. Wow. So it has to neutralize the acidic effect of the stomach before it goes into your intestines. So that has the mo- one of those biggest roles in the body to actually neutralize. And yet we already know what the acid in the stomach is about a two, Jeez. right? So you mean to tell me that that eight can basically neutralize that two? Wow. That's the reason why that's profound is because of the fact that you you went ahead and you indulged the people you you tell the people the pH which is about seven point eight you know what I mean right. uh, and it, it, what's funny is when we talk about like this is what I mean if you're healthy when was the last time you thought about your pancreas and the condition it is in hmm. you know if you're healthy you, you see what I'm saying or your kidneys that filter kidneys. Uh, filters everything because we're because what, right. what's happening is that when we're healthy we're neglecting what makes the body work so we're dumping the stuff in a friend of mine said people who die in their 60s are not dying from their 60s mm-hmm. they're dying from what they've done to their bodies the entire time so that uh, you see uh, what I mean uh, yeah, so so, so it's like like Think about the amount of water that's supposed to be in your body that your body has supposed to experience by the time that you're 60. And if it doesn't have that, it can't function past 60. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? So what we've got to do is we've got to get back to getting the right information so we can get back to life, back to living again. Uh, let's put out the website one more time. Mm. Got me in the middle of it. A- yeah, you take a nice ah. little sip there. Familysprings.com. All right. And family- please make sure that, um, like I said... I'm going on a campaign at this point where um, I'm going to be actually informing and letting people know exactly what we're doing, um, health to hydration, um, water is wealth. All right. All right, so this is Chris Harrison. We'll be back. We got more for you, more guests coming in on this Thanksgiving weekend. God bless you guys. We'll be right back. Thank you. Cool, man. Thanks for coming, man, brother. God bless you, man. Yeah, you go. Yeah, he's here. The man, the man himself, John, the man is here. Man, this brother got his own family. He got a water company. Wow. Hey, he owns a coffee shop, man. You should get some of the water oh, put in the coffee shop. Sounds great to me. Hey, hey, right. Right. How you doing, man? Hey, nice John Good to meet you, man. You got Jonathan Manis here from Coffee Sheep. What's up, idiot? Oh, pass it. What's up, family? Going? Told you he was going in. Again. I'm not we only right just right beginning. Uh, uh, I just want to digress. How you doing, Crystal?